So I've had quite a few people ask me, Battlefront or Black Ops 3? It seems like a lot of you are wondering which game to spend your money on, or which game to ask for for Christmas. So being the nice guy that I am, I've decided to help you out. So hopefully in this video I can give you enough information to help you make an educated choice about which game is the right game for you. Now clearly if you've played the beta for either Black Ops 3 or Battlefront, you've probably already got a good idea which game is going to be the right one for you. But you may be torn between the two and only able to pick up one for a variety of reasons such as financial, perhaps time constraints, or maybe you're new to first person shooters and you don't really know which is the best one to start on. You might also need to consider what your friends are getting, and also how much you've enjoyed previous Call of Duty games or other first person shooters from EA. So bearing all that in mind, which one do you get? Well, let's start with the similarities. Okay, so these games are actually quite different, but there are some key similarities. They're obviously both first person shooters. Both games target 60 frames per second, although it is worth noting that Black Ops 3 on last gen will only be 30 frames per second. In both games you can have custom loadouts, so different ways that you can set up your character, different weapons that you can carry and different abilities that you can equip. Both games offer competitive team based multiplayer, and both will undoubtedly have large online communities, although Call of Duty probably will have more endurance. That is, the community will probably keep playing the game for a lot longer than they will Battlefront, but I could be completely wrong about this. Now there's a whole bunch of other different areas in which these games are similar, but I think those are the most fundamental areas. Now, let's move on to the differences. So I mentioned that Battlefront is first person, but it also has third person. And while this isn't totally game changing, it does offer you a little bit more variety. And this is generally possible because the weapons in Battlefront don't have all that much recoil. That's generally something that you will notice almost straight away when shooting weapons in either game, is that the weapons in Black Ops 3 will have noticeable recoil. Both games definitely have controllable vehicles, but Battlefront definitely has more emphasis on vehicles, and you can also control turrets and hero characters. So in terms of variety of different vehicles and things to control, Battlefront has definitely got you covered. Like I said, Black Ops does have some controllable things in it, but they're generally kill streaks, and they're not necessarily going to be available to every single player. And the reason for this, I think, is because Black Ops 3 is likely to be much more competitive. So getting kill streaks is not necessarily easy, and using those kill streak vehicles is going to be quite difficult for some players. I mentioned that both games have got competitive multiplayer, but Black Ops 3 is the only game that has a real campaign. Black Ops 3's campaign is also four player co-op. Once again, this is only on next gen, so if you plan on picking this game up for last gen, just be aware that it doesn't have a campaign. Battlefront does have story modes or story missions, which I believe are co-op, but it doesn't have a campaign that will last for eight to 10 hours. Black Ops 3 also has zombies. Now I know this feature is really popular and some people buy the game purely for zombies. Battlefront kind of has a similar mode, which is like a co-op horde style mode, but it's definitely got nothing on Treyarch's zombie mode. Now something that a lot of people will be curious to know, and probably something that a lot of people will base purchases off, is which game is the better looking. Both Treyarch and DICE have said that their games have been specifically developed for next gen, and we don't know if this is 100% true because obviously Black Ops 3 is coming to last gen consoles. But you could argue that Battlefront is using a more advanced engine, seeing that Black Ops 3 is just using an iteration of the Infinity Ward engine. That being said, the Battlefront beta only ran at 900p on the PS4 and only 720p on the Xbox One. Black Ops 3 will run at 1080p on the PS4 and probably something like 900p on the Xbox One. Although as of prior to launch, the resolution of the Xbox One version has yet to be determined. So in terms of raw resolution, Call of Duty is likely to be the more crisp looking game. Now both games could technically be classified as sci-fi, but Star Wars is obviously a completely different kind of sci-fi and a completely unique kind of sci-fi to the one that we're seeing in Black Ops 3. Call of Duty has always tried to keep some sort of connection to reality, and this is reflected by the projectile based weapons that we see in Call of Duty, as opposed to the blaster weapons that we're seeing in Star Wars. What's interesting about these two games, and maybe I'm getting a little bit too technical, but Star Wars Battlefront has projectile drop from the weapons, where Black Ops 3 does not. When you pull the trigger, if your crosshairs are over a target, the time it takes for the bullet or the projectile to reach the target will be instantaneous. In Star Wars, when you pull the trigger, there'll be a noticeable delay in between when the blast leaves your weapon and how long it takes for the laser blast to connect with the target. So those are the main similarities and differences as I see it between the two titles. And that might have left you still a little bit confused as to which game is the best one for you. I'd say if you're a Star Wars fan, then Battlefront is most certainly the game that you should get. 
If you have any interest in Star Wars at all, I can't see how you wouldn't be totally blown away by this game. If you're after a more competitive shooter which has probably got longer life in terms of multiplayer, then Black Ops 3 will definitely have a large online community, and also quite a healthy competitive scene if you're into that type of thing. Battlefront game times are also a bit more team oriented, so they reward team based play. And while these modes exist in Black Ops 3 as well, I would argue that Battlefront is the more team based game. You're definitely going to want to party up with a bunch of friends and use a headset in Battlefront, where Black Ops 3 can be more of a lone wolf type of game. If time and money permit, then get both I say, they're both going to be good games, and they'll both offer different types of experiences. If you're more of a casual first person shooter type player, or you're new to the first person shooters in general, I'd definitely say go with Battlefront. Black Ops 3 will still be a whole bunch of fun, but you'll generally find that you're going to be stomped in the early stages of multiplayer, and if you don't persist and practice and get better, you'll probably find that you'll get disheartened and give it up. If you're hoping for me to say which is the better game in this video, then I'm sorry to disappoint you, but I don't think it's possible to compare these two games like that. It's a bit like apples and oranges. Anyway, I hope this information's been useful and you've got a clearer idea of which game is the best one for you. Whichever way you go, I'm sure you're going to have a whole bunch of fun. And maybe we can party up so I can stomp your face into the ground. But that's all I've got for you in this video. I want to thank you for watching. I hope you've enjoyed it and I'll catch you later.